fish jumping out of the water. Freediving family, I hope you're all staying safe, happy and healthy at home. The past week or so have been really nice. We haven't been doing a whole lot. We've just been hanging out at home with Ellie and it's been really, really fun. I have another vlog from the archives for you. Another spearfishing vlog. This video was also sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, but more on that later. Anyway, here's the video. Good morning, freediving family. Uh, this morning we are heading out to some fads to hopefully find some mahi-mahi or some dolphin fish. I'm here with Albie in his Morning. beast of a boat, this Haynes Hunter. And uh, we're gonna shoot off to out of Terrigal Haven. There's some reasonably large swell, about two meters or so, but there's no wind. So hopefully when we get out there, it's just very rolly, not um, bumpy. Hopefully we don't sink, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vote of confidence there. Yeah. <laughs> Terrigal is about one and a half hours drive north of Sydney and it's very close to where we call home. We've got a huge chunk of driftwood that just washed right up on the boat ramp. So the swell's a little bit bigger than we thought originally. Um, yeah, so we'll just see how we go out there. That's a nice place. We usually don't get waves breaking on this headland unless there's about two or three meters of swell. Halfway there, Albie's just stopped for a little piss break. Yep. <laughs> so we've just um, just arrived at the first fad. We're probably about 25 k's off Terrigal. Um, this is a bit of a sort of an inshore fad. The further ones are a bit wider, but uh, the water doesn't seem the best here. Um, it looks a little bit murky, but anyway, we're going to give it a crack and see if there's any fish on it. I think there will be. Before we jumped in, Albie threw a lure into the water just to check if there were any mahi-mahi swimming around the fad. So Albie reckons that um, if we don't get any bites within the first few minutes, there's basically no dolphin fish on this fad. So we're gonna, we're gonna head to the next one. So off to fad number two. All right, so we're at the second fad. We didn't hop in on the first one because there just wasn't any fish on it. We could already tell because Albie threw, uh, threw the rod in a few times and um, nothing was biting. So we're at the second fad and we can see fish jumping out of the water. I'm going to hop in first with the camera and, and get a bit of footage and see what I can see. And then we'll get in there with the guns. Thank you so much to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. They have been super helpful to us in this hard time, so it would be great if you checked out the game. While we've been here at home, I've been playing Raid Shadow Legends. It's a free-to-play dark fantasy RPG, and you can play it both on your phone and your PC. I've been playing it on my phone because I can pick it up, play for short bursts, and then put it down, which having a baby at home is just perfect for me. In the game, you use your champions to take down bosses, play against other players, and it's just heaps of fun. And if you follow the link in the description of this video, you'll get 100,000 pieces of silver, which is what you use to upgrade your champions. You'll also get a free champion who looks epic too, Hex Weaver. There's a daily reward system that goes on for 180 days. You get cool new stuff, new upgrades every day for half a year. So head to the description, click the link, and start playing. But for now, back to the ocean. We brought the flasher into the water to attract the mahi mahi to come closer to us. You look outside and give a young, it's just another boring dome. The sky looks grey on nevers. The floor. This is all a fad is. Just a rope that goes down to the bottom of the ocean and some buoys at the top. So simple, but it attracts fish from all over the ocean. These leather jackets, in my opinion, are the best tasting fish in the ocean. So we're 30 kilometers offshore and the water is still this kind of murky green. Usually the water out here is just blue, like just crystal blue, 20 to 30 or 40 meters viz. But we've had a big, um, big, uh, I don't know, 
chunk of swell come through and it looks like it's stirred it all up. But it's alright, we can still see the fish, so it's all good. And you know, if your day feels too long, you just need a tiny sound. In classic Adam style, I missed my first shot. But the second time the school came around, I got a shot into one of the smaller mahis in the school. And I know a song, just a quick fix. The secret serves in your mix. If you don't believe me, listen to the song. The legal size for this fish is 60 centimeters, and this fish ended up measuring 63 centimeters. So, phew! Hey, there you go! Nice little dolly. Uh, not too big, but good enough for a feed, and uh, that was fun! I haven't shot a dolphin fish in many, many years, so um, I'm very stoked with that. Before we left for the next fad, I got back in the water for those leather jackets. They really are the best tasting fish in the sea. So we've just pulled up to the third fad, and uh, it looks very, very fishy. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, tie the boat off onto the fad and um, hop in the water. It was a bloody day, stuck in the traffic jam. The Mahi Mahi on the third fad was sitting a lot deeper, which actually made it easier for me because it was winter at this time and I was wearing a 7mm suit. I was super buoyant. In classic Adam style, I missed my first shot again. So I went down with the flasher in one hand to draw them a little bit closer. And on my second shot, I had better aim. Watching an old time movie, follow the class goodbye. Mm. Have they made any other passes? What's that? Have the dollies made another pass or two? Oh, they have, but it's so hard to, so hard to swim. Yeah! It's so dirty. Alive, the fist is simple. Taking the day away, or making time for some loving. I ended up shooting two dollies. Uh, one was just, just legal and the other one's a little bit bigger. Uh, not big, I mean all the dollies out here were fairly small. There are a few like larger ones in the pack in the school, but they're like hiding behind and uh, they're hard to get to and especially with the, with, the, with the water so murky, it was hard to kind of pick them out. Um, but yeah, I mean, we definitely, definitely have a great feed. It's probably the, the dirtiest, murkiest water I've ever dived out this far offshore. About 35 k's out and the visibility is about about three meters. <laughs> it's pretty scary, actually. <laughs> it's normally about 20 meters minimum out here. But yeah, I was lucky to lucky to see uh, see anything. It was um, I think the big groundswell that's come in the last couple of days has just yeah made it made it terrible, unfortunately. But anyway, we're uh, we're going to leave this one and go for a little troll around. Maybe see if we can catch a fish online or see what else we can spot out here because it's such a lovely day. It's, it's a shame to go in yet. So we've come to a spot called the Perch Grounds, which is like a little pinnacle. We basically like we're basically in about 110 metres of water and then it comes up to about 90 or so metres and you get plenty of kingfish coming up the pinnacle. So we're gonna we're gonna throw um, throw a lure. God, I don't know how to talk like a fisherman now. Jig. We're gonna jig <laughs> and uh, see if we can bring up the kingfish or two, Let's see how we go. And here he is jigging away. So little about fishing, I saw Al just yeah. sort of like jigging. I don't know anything about fishing either. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's got a fish, he's got a fish. He's like, no, no, I'm just jigging. <laughs> Found out why I wasn't catching anything. 
I've just been informed I've got the lure tied on back the front. I'm actually supposed to tie it on from here. Not here. Rookie mistake. <laughs> Take two. I think I've got it right this time. I think. Not at the top. Not at the top, yep. Don't go away. Let it be the thing. Yes. I'll be just working hard at it and here I am just waiting for the kingfish. Out from Manhattan to the California shore. I never knew that line fishing was so much work. Alright, <laughs> 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 here you go. Alright, here Very we first, go. Uh, attempt at jigging. Beginner's luck, I hope. I hope. Okay, so I think you've hit the bottom, so now jig it up as fast as you can. <laughs> Alright, get ready. Yep. Show us that technique. That's it. Oh, yeah. Hey, you're exhausted already. <laughs> Come on, you've only, you've only wound did 20 meters. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I pretty much just like, you know, jigged once or twice and then gave up. <laughs> Al's jigging again, and look at his shirt. Wahoo's your daddy. Albie is finally on! Last chance, my last drop, I was giving up. Half under the surface. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is your workout for the day. There it is. Kingfish. Oh, it's a tuna. Tuna. Oh, it's a bonito. Bonito. They're still good. It's a bonito, it's a big one. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Bonito. It's a good size. I've caught one fish. I'd like to now announce my retirement from the world of uh, deep sea jigging. <laughs> I'm happy. I've that's a hundred percent success rate for each trip. That's true. You yeah. got, but you got a sore arm now. You got some quit, sore you shoulders. Got quit while you're ahead, I think. <laughs> Play the odds. That's, That's right. <laughs> All right, beautiful. We're gonna head in now, and uh, look, we got what have we got then? We got uh, two dolphin fish, two leather jackets, one big bonito. So that pretty much stops us from going to, uh, going shopping for meat at least for about a week or two. So there you go, grocery shopping in the ocean. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe by pressing this little circular thing down here. Also, check out this video. Or you might want to check out this video because you might like it too.